Hi, welcome to Traveling Inc. I'm Rich. And I'm Sandy Mellon. And today we're on our Martin and Fisher line. The traps that we use for Martin and Fisher are dictated to us by an agreement. And this agreement came about after the European Union uh, banned the importation of fur that were taken with old style uh, traps, specifically leg hold traps. The agreement is called Agreement for International Humane Trapping Standards. And in this agreement, the traps break out into two different segments. One is killing and the other is restraining. And each has its own definitions. In this case, for Martin and Fisher, only killing traps are certified. That's right. We use uh, two different sizes, the 120 and the 160. Now, uh, both of them are certified, in this case, in, in the Belial trap, both of them are certified for both Fisher and Martin. You have uh, a listing, and in the listing it shows the certified traps and the animals that they're certified for. These, in order to be certified, these traps have had to go through extensive studies. And to reach certif certification, they have to incapacitate the animal or kill it within eight times out of ten within a certain time limit. In the case of Martin and Fisher, 120 seconds or two minutes. Whew. She's one of them mornings where you want to get working to, to, to stay warm. But one of the things that we always talk about is you always set on sign. And I like to, this fresh snow. It's just like your morning internet blog or whatever. Take a look here. If you take a look here, this is uh, a Martin. That's his hind feet. His hind feet land in the same spot as, as his front feet when he's loping along. So here we got a Martin going this way up the trail. And you can see he runs into another set of tracks. Well, these tracks are over here. Oh, here, let's find some that are uh, that are clear. There, it's a lynx. So we got a lynx going this way. Okay, lynx is headed out uh, headed out down this way. We're going to be lynx isn't open yet, so we won't be setting traps uh, traps for it right away. What do we got here now? Take a look. It's a wolf. There's a wolf track. So. Busy little crossroad here on the information superhighway, but we're off for, for Martin and Fisher. Let's go. Ooh, this is pretty fancy looking deli here, man. Lunch. <laughs> and you're nice and warm. This is uh, this is pre skookum setup, man. I love this. I love this Argo. Holy cow. Let me get those sandwiches out of the way for you. Aye. Right. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. Okay, now we know what a certified trap is, and we know the correct trap for the species that we're, we're going after. There's a couple of, of practices that we can put in place that will help those traps, that will help uh, that success rate be even higher than 80%. Let me show you a couple. 
There we go. That's what we're looking for. Nice Martin. One of the things we want to do is we want to control the animal's approach to the trap. That way, we get these, these nice catches. Here, we've got one right across the, the back of the skull. It's a suitcase catch. But by controlling how the animal goes in, we want him always to be going in head first. In some places, uh, some, some folks like to have their, their boxes sitting upside down on, a, uh, on the tree. So this, this part would be sticking up. It really doesn't work here in Alberta. A couple of things. One, we get a lot of snow, so your box fills full of snow. The other thing is, is if you watch this footage that we got coming up here, you'll see that this guy, oftentimes, they'll come down from above and they'll take and sit on top of, the, of, of your box. Then, you know, maybe their tail falls in, they get caught in a bad situation. So, controlling the way the animal comes into your trap is really important. We want to have him coming into it head first. So, we'll always have the opening either down downhill on the log, or if you, we have it set on a, on a vertical tree, he's always gonna be coming up from underneath. It'll also stop you from getting incidental catches like, uh, like birds, that kind of thing. This is the kind of catch we're looking for. Doesn't matter which bar lands here, this is where we want at least one of the bars to land. This one back here, uh, this is what's referred to as a suitcase catch, and it's, um, you know, it doesn't harm anything, this back here. In actual fact, it puts a lot of pressure on the, on the lungs, the respiratory system, and that, but this is the one that we want here. But it can be the leading one, or it can be the following one, it doesn't matter. This is what gets the job done. One of the things that we gotta be careful of, though, is that when we set these traps, up here in these slots. You want to hold them back a bit. You want to hold them back an inch because when that goes off, this has a tendency to launch and especially in a situation where you're going downhill, um, you know, then all of a sudden you can end up with some of those hip, ca ca uh, hip caught uh, uh, catches that you see in that where the animal isn't dispatched as quickly. In order for that trap to do its job eight times out of ten, we have to do our job. So I'll take and change this out and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps, first in the forest. This segment brought to you by Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Okay, for changing out really quickly, here's a tip that one of our viewers sent in off our Facebook page. Was well, just make up some, what I did, made up some cables with loops on the end and, and a quick clip. Matter of quick clipping out, quick, quick uh, clipping right back in. Now, here's what I'm talking about when I talk about making sure that our trap doesn't launch. You can see that it sits here with the, the springs loaded. There we go. It sits with the, with the springs loaded and if, if I don't uh, give it just a little bit of room, as soon as this trips, this spring, if it's tight against the, uh, this, the, the back of the slot here, it has a tendency of launching it right out of there, just launching right out and then you can get those bad catches. Uh, so it's one of the things that we can do to help uh, the trap do its job better. And we can end up with nice catches like this. 
look at how how tight those jaws come together those uh double bent jaws that Bilal puts on are deadly Martin and Fisher are weasels and they're very, very aggressive. Even when you set your traps right, they can go into that box so fast that they can actually get in there really deep. Take a look at this little guy. Still got him across the neck a little bit deeper than I would like. I would like to have uh, seen it more right behind the skull here, but you can see how aggressively he went up this tree and after the bait. Nice chunk of beaver meat in there. In actual fact, he came down the tree. He came down this, this here. You can see his tracks in the snow. You can see there's no tracks here. It's a pretty dark one for here. Pretty nice. Once again, I can just quick clip this apart. That's how quickly we can change them out and on to the next one. Sometimes it seems like you have just too much trap. Take a look at this. This is a nice Martin, and he's hit a 160 below. In he goes, baits in the back. Oh yeah, that's all good. Look at this. Uh, see how he has, he's been deeply suitcase caught, which means that, you know, he's got the one back here, but the other one is right behind his head, right where we want it. A lot of uh, this has got to do, and this guy has just been caught. He's still soft. I can actually take him out of here. So, in this situation, how how we set our trigger determines where we're, we're going to catch them. A lot of people, uh, you know, think that with the uh, the smaller animals, you should set the trigger to the outside. I prefer to set them always to the inside. Then I'm then I'm always getting a good solid catch. In most cases, when a marten. It's a very big trap like this. I get him right behind the head. Um, as long as I, I set it up so that the, the springs are not against the slot here, so that the, it launches, it's gonna it's gonna work out. I'll show you how to set this one up here. I'm gonna be able to actually take this guy right out of this. Normally, with um, a killing trap like this, you're gonna have to to take it with you because the He'll be frozen and the, the steel is frozen to him and you don't want to damage the hide. But in this case, but in this case, this guy's in great shape and I'm gonna be able to take and uh, just get him out of there and, and get it set up and get back down the road again. This segment brought to you by Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps, first in the forest. This segment brought to you by Belial Traps, first in the forest. Find us online at belialtrap.com. A little bit of pressure here on the springs against the plywood, and that trap is in there nice and solid and it doesn't pull out. You can see that I have the, the space that I talked about here, so that when this spring goes off that it doesn't launch this, this trap forward and out of here and, and catch the animal back too far. If you take a look in there, you can see how the, the trigger, the wires on the trigger and that are actually on the back jaw. Okay, that's called setting the trigger in. And what that means is that the animal's head is further inside, he's committed further into the trap 
when the uh, by the time he trips the trigger and it goes off. That's my preferable way. Some people think, you know, or some people like to t to take and and set set it out in some cases. I always set it in. I'd prefer to get a good solid catch. Uh, worst case scenario, I get a, a suitcase catch and and at least one of the bars is doing the job that it should be. The trauma that you can feel from that uh, that strike is remarkable. It feels like perhaps his uh, neck is broken and, and perhaps his spine. Um, when they go into these traps, that 80% of the time, that 8 out of 10 times, it happens so fast, it's over so quick. Just take a look at this footage. I'm ready out here. Okay. All right. Well, it's the weekend before Christmas, and we don't have a tree yet, so. Even though we are surrounded by trees. <laughs> when I was out for a walk with the dogs yesterday, I found a nice one down the way here, so we're going to take off and go get that and be ready for Christmas. Come on. I found one up here yesterday, so. Come on up here and we'll cut her down. Come on, bud. Come on. This is the one I kind of thought of. <laughs> well, I packed this chainsaw all this distance for that. <laughs> yeah, he probably could have cut it down with a machete, but yeah. I didn't want anything big because I don't. We don't have a lot of room for it in the cabin, but I thought this is a nice one. So looks gorgeous here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's not our usual tree, but no, we have a we have what a twelve foot ceiling in in our house, so this is. Substantially less, but you should pack it. <laughs> okay. I can do that. <laughs> Come on, boys. You want her to freeze into that pail of water, and then once that, that that'll be our tree stand until it thaws, and then I'll need some number one nine wire. Yeah, like that. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It should be frozen by the time we get back. And uh, I got a nice little string of lights here to put on it. And we'll decorate it when we get back out here. And it'll be just in time for Christmas. Perfect. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. This segment brought to you by Belial Traps. First in the forest. Find us online at belialtrap.com. Canada has a long tradition of producing the finest fur in the world. At Belial Traps, we have been a proud supporter of this reputation for over 20 years. Our patented designs and proven reliability have set the gold standard in professional grade traps. We are proud of our contributions to the advancement of trapping. Our belief in uncompromising quality means that every Belial Trap is 100% Canadian made by us for unbeaten performance. Belial Traps. First in the forest.
Okay, I've been having a lot of trouble this year with flying squirrels. And they've been eating on fur that gets in a box and all that kind of stuff. And here's a new one. If you take a look here, you can see that there was actually two flying squirrels in here. And they uh, tripped her at the same time, got both of them. And then you can see that, uh, you know, they got then they got ate by their buddies. There must be a lot of flying squirrels around here. I really don't want to think I went about catching a, some nice fur here. This is bad because it's only been two days since I checked this. But uh, the things that you see out on the trap line, right? <laughs> you sure got a big fluffy tail. You know what? I have thought about this set all week. I I, I don't know why, but this was just uh, we're we're up on top of uh, just the break of a creek, and the major creek on our line runs over here. And I've just thought about this one all week. If you take a look here, every one of the trees here is like a bear tree. You know, they've been, they've chewed them, they've clawed them, they've made their marks on them, and that this is just one of those spots that game comes to, right? And I've been thinking about this this one all week and we drive up and we got a fisher here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at how big he is. That is a big one. And that 120 Bilal. <laughs> Look at this. He just about had to shoehorn himself into that. To get his head into that four and a half inch trap. Look at that. It's not like there's much space, but the Belial traps, man, oh man, they are reliable. We just don't have misses, you know, we don't have empty traps, we don't have uh, uh, where animals have pulled out or anything else. It's it, When they hit it, it's done. That is a big one. That's probably 12 pounds anyway. Wow. Maybe 13. As with any sport or jurisdiction, it is our responsibility as trappers to ensure we're using the correct equipment and that we use it in applications that maximize its opportunities for success. There was a lot at stake when uh, the, the agreement came about and we had to prove ourselves to the world. And so we wanna make sure that we set it up so that these traps have the best chance of meeting those standards and, and doing a good job with a quick, fast dispatch. You will find all of the certified traps under the Agreement for International Humane Trapping Standards listed in your provincial and territorial trapping regulations, so please consult the regulation in your specific jurisdiction. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you down the line. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo UTV. Any season, any terrain. Online at ArgoUTV.com. Belial Traps, first in the forest. Find us online at BelialTrap.com. And by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. You can keep up with all the action online at TrappingInc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites.